Hi, I'm Krista. I'm Emma. I'm Tanner. And, and we're, we're the Tingletons. Okay, so today we are making seaweed salad. It's seaweed, and cucumbers, and radishes, and sesame seeds, and all the good stuff. And it, it, it turns into a salad. <laughs> Step one, soak the seaweed. Seaweed contains levels of iodine, calcium, magnesium, iron, protein, fiber, vitamins, antioxidants, and detoxifying properties. It helps improve your health related to thyroid, bone, digestive, and heart. Wow! What about you, Krista? Because of the many health benefits, new moms traditionally eat this for the first few weeks after giving birth to help with recovery. Ancient Korean folklore tells that Korean ancestors learned from seeing whales eating seaweed after giving birth. That's an interesting fact. <laughs> How are you, Tanner? Step two, blanch the seaweed. Next, mix all the dressing ingredients. Next, dice the radishes and cucumbers. Last, put the dressing, radishes, and cucumbers in with the seaweed. More facts about seaweed. <laughs> I'm Nana Alvarado. Uh, most of the world's oxygen comes from seaweed and other microscopic algae. I'll do. <laughs> seaweed support primary production levels that are six to six through ten times better than most intensive land-based agricultural. It is estimated that there are nine more microscopic algae and seaweeds in the ocean than there are plants on land. Oh my God. Together with microscopic algae called phyt phytoplankton, seaweeds um, are responsible for pri all primary <laughs> production in the, <laughs> in the ocean and therefore form the base of food and the food chain in the ocean. So, this is 